guys welcome back to fx rhapsody uh tonight i just wanted to touch on two pairs uh the british pound us usd dollar the british pound um japanese yen i'm just going to do a bit of analysis what uh, i think is going to happen in the coming week ahead now let's start off with the british pound us dollar if we look at the monthly time frame we can see that there's a very nice key area over here if i can just um show you right there it's a nice area where price have been respecting that area um, and we can see also that price broke through that area and then price is gonna um, is busy doing a retracement down to that area now to measure that retracement all we do is we take our Fibonacci tool from the low to the high and we can see that that area is a very nice area in our golden zone of 50% and 61.8%. Okay, now if we have to next time or next up, we drill down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, we can see also there's a let me just draw this area over here. Right there. This is where price have been respecting that area over there. You can actually just bring it up all the way to that. There we go. So price have been respecting that area over there. And we can see, I just wanted to highlight or show you how price have been respecting it, breaking it down, you know, bouncing off it, coming down, bouncing off that area, bouncing off it, bouncing off it, breaking through it, bouncing off it again, breaking through, breaking through it, and now it's busy bouncing off or retracing back to that area. Now again, to measure that retracement, we take the Fibonacci from the low to the high because price is heading up backwards or back up and it's in a down trend. So we can see that price is busy moving up to that nice key area. And this is where, let me just take the arrow away and in this area over here is where I will be looking at selling. So currently the market is open. I'm gonna wait until market closes tonight and then um, over the weekend, just see where price is on a four hourly and a one hourly, and then definitely um, looking at some price action and making sure that I put my sell in the right place for this movement to the downside. So that is it for the British pound US dollar. Let's move on to the British pound Japanese yen. There we go. Right over there. Let's move to the monthly time frame first. So on the monthly time frame, we can see there is a nice, it's just we can actually do it from here. There's a very nice area that price have been respecting for a couple of months now. We can see that there's a big impulse in the market for price and especially after a big impulse like that, we expect price to do a nice retracement back. And to measure that retracement, what we do is we take our Fibonacci tool from the low to the high and we can see how that area is such a key area for price to come down to in between the 50% and the 61.8%. So that's definitely a key area that we're waiting for and not just waiting for but we're expecting price to go down and because it's on a monthly time frame we can trade it. We can trade that movement to the downside. With that we move to the daily time frame now like i said we're expecting price to go down so in this daily time frame we can see price made a huge move to the upside now in this movement in between all those bulls is a very key candle and it's this bearish candle over here now every time or 90 percent of the time when this happens is that area becomes a nice support 
and resistance area. So we can see here the price came down, it broke that area. In actual fact, price came up to this area and it's been bouncing kind of off that area. So you just take my Fibonacci tool, take it from the, the high to the low, take it to this candle. So what we're expecting is price to come and retest that area right here by the 50%, maybe even push into the 61.8%. And this is where I will be waiting for my sell to the downside. Right in, let me just make it nice. Oopa. Here we go. Right in that area. So I will be looking at where price closes tonight and then where it opens on Monday and price will push up and into that area and that is where I will be waiting to place a nice sell um, on a lower time frames. Guys, I hope you enjoyed these videos. I ask you to like these videos, to subscribe to my channel, leave some comments in the comment section. Um, I will definitely be making some more videos over the weekend, some more analysis. And I've also put a, um, a link to my preferred broker in the description. These guys are some of the best, or they are one of the best brokers around and best spreads, best margins, awesome support. Guys, go check them out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Till next time, guys. Happy trading.